Good morning, traders. I am Stephen Davis, Senior Market Strategist, RJO Futures. It's Friday morning, September 27th, here to talk to you about the grain markets. Okay, for first chart of corn here we'll put up, and you can see that 388 gap area on the upside. That's an objective and a barrier, and we'll just see here in the weeks ahead if we can't get up into that area. Monday is a stocks report, and I think the USDA is uh, overstating old crop corn stocks. My reasoning for this, why is the basis so strong here? The end user needs corn, and we're 20 cents over the price of corn here in Chicago. So look for this basis to keep the corn pipeline filled here at the expense of the board. Uh, so we'll see about all of that. Um, Temperatures now, it's cold and wet moving in here in the forecast, and we'd rather have warm and dry. So Fargo, North Dakota, Tuesday, maybe 32 degrees. We'll see if we don't get a couple of nights of freezing if the corn market doesn't respond to this. We need that first frost to come in later in October, not next week. So some of these guys in Illinois that we work with, and you know, they've got eight farms, and they are saying their corn looks a lot better than it did 30 days ago. So this deluge of rain we had in early spring, things have worked out pretty well here the last month, month and a half. So we'll see what the USDA has to say in these reports in the upcoming weeks. Okay, the soybean market, and you know everybody wants to talk about soybeans. Like I mentioned, this summer my dentist asked me about soybeans, and it's just interesting. It's protein, it's what the world wants. China's appetite for soybean, just gigantic here. And buying a lot of uh, soybean from Brazil and a lot from USA. There's some purchases announced this week. So that's a good story. Let's see if it can continue. You know, what if Brazil has some issues here? It's dry in, the, in northern Brazil as we speak. So China knows about this and we'll just see if uh, China USA can't come together on some type of negotiation here. Uh, okay, and now the wheat market. Uh, I've been talking about wheat the last couple of weeks. Here's the chart of spring wheat. Now look at this chart and count the gaps on this chart. That's what I do with my charting. It's multiple waves going higher here. So let's see if we don't get some leadership from the wheat complex. What I'm hearing is there is some issues with harvest and also this spring wheat is the pasta wheat, the strong demand that the consumer of the world wants. So really nice chart here in wheat. The longer term charts look good, so we'll keep talking about all of that. Let's all have an excellent weekend.